Hey everyone, I'm Ava and welcome back to Delightful Dolls. Today we are finally getting around to doing another DIY doll clothing tutorial. The outfit I'll be showing you how to make today is perfect for fall and just adorable in general, so let's just get right on into it. We're gonna start off by making a pretty basic long sleeve top. And so to start, I just have a white piece of paper, which probably isn't the best choice considering the background is white, but we'll make it work. I then grab a doll and kind of line her up so that her shoulders are at the top of the piece of paper. I'm gonna mark in the inside of her armpits. Then I kind of like stretch out one of her arms as kind of far up as they can go. And from that point that we made in the inside of her arm there, I'm gonna kind of mark where her wrist ends. And I'm gonna kind of connect everything to make a sleeve. And I'm gonna repeat this on the other side. And then I'm gonna kind of draw the body of the shirt. So after making a few adjustments, this is how my pattern looks like. The sleeves are three inches long, the body is one and a half inches long, and two inches wide, and the sleeves are three quarters of an inch wide. So this specific pattern will fit the original Barbie body type. And so now that we have the pattern, I'm just gonna cut it out. Now I'm gonna grab some white stretchy fabric. It kind of looks like an off-white over this white background, but um, it's white enough to be white. And anyways, I'm going to fold it so the good side is on the inside. Then I'm going to place the pattern onto the fabric so that the top lines up with the fold. And I'm going to trace around it. And then I'm gonna cut that out going through both layers. And I cut right on the lines because the pattern did account for seam allowance already. From here, I'm gonna fold the top in half and make a small cut at this point here. I'm now gonna stretch out and lay the entire piece of fabric flat. And then whichever side of the body part of the top I dislike more, I'm going to make a little slit from the neckline like that. I don't know why these weird dots are here. I think they're pencil marks, but they're not coming out and I don't want that to be on the front. So this will be the back. Now I want to fold over and hem down the edges. Of course you could sew this, but I'm just going to use some fabric glue. It just makes things easier in my opinion. And then I'm also going to place some glue to fold over the neckline and make it nice and clean. So now we have the neckline folded over, the bottom parts of the top, and the cuffs of the sleeves. And I'm just gonna let that dry. Now that it's dry, I'm going to flip it around and fold it so the bad side is still facing out. And I'm going to sew from the sleeve to the bottom on both sides with my sewing machine. Once that's all sewed up, I'm just gonna make a little cut in the armpit area making sure not to actually cut the thread. And I'm gonna flip it inside out. So I have some Velcro and I'm just going to sew it on in the back here like that so that the top can open and close. Next up, we're gonna make a little dress. So I have this piece of fabric that can wrap around the doll with some extra fabric in the back and is just a little bit longer than how I would want the dress to actually be. And once again, I'm not gonna sew over the edges. I'm just gonna use some fabric glue. So I folded over this top and bottom edge and I'm gonna let that dry. Once that is dry, I'm going to wrap it around the doll with the wrong side facing out, line up the fabric in the back, and then mark with a marker where I'm going to sew. About halfway up. So then when the fabric is folded in half with the edges matching up, I'm just going to sew on that line. 
Then I slip it onto the doll to make sure it really does fit well. And then I kind of cut away the excess fabric on the bottom portion here. And then I'm gonna flip the dress inside out. And I'm going to sew some Velcro onto the dress so that the part that is open at the top here can open and close. And I really don't like this rough edge going on. So I'm just gonna use some more fabric glue to glue that down and make it nice and clean on both sides. And this probably would have been smarter to do before I actually sewed on the Velcro. But now it definitely looks a lot more clean. I'm now gonna flip the dress inside out once again. So the wrong side is on the outside and I'm going to slip it on the doll. And now as you can see, it's pretty loose in the body area. So I'm gonna take my marker and mark kind of underneath the bust where I'm going to sew, just making a straight line on both sides. So now with the dress off, I can see the two lines and I'm gonna fold on one of the lines and kind of draw a curve from the top to the bottom. And I'm gonna sew along that. And once I've sewed that, I'm gonna repeat the same step with the other line. I then cut off any excess fabric, being very careful not to cut the thread. And that definitely fits a lot better now. Now to make some straps for the dress, I just have a long piece of that same fabric. And with my fabric glue, I'm gonna fold over one of the long edges just a little bit. And then I'm gonna put some more glue on top of that and fold it over one more time. And then I'm just gonna cut off the excess fabric. Once it's all dry, I'm gonna cut the piece in half. So we have two straps. Now with the dress on the doll inside out, I mark on the front of the dress where I wanna sew the straps on. Then with the dress off the doll, I'm gonna sew the ends of these straps where we mark. From here, I'm gonna put it back on the doll and then I'm gonna wrap the strap around the doll's shoulder and mark where I need to cut it in the back and where I'm gonna sew it for both sides. I flip the dress inside out so that the right side is on the outside. I line up the straps with where we marked and I'm gonna sew them in place. And I think that looks pretty cute. However, I do think it could look really good with a little slit. So I just make a little mark on the dress. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of fabric glue on the raw edges to prevent it from fraying. And here's the completed look. I think this outfit looks so cute. And here the outfit is with some fishnets as well, which is just a really cute add-on to the look. I'm really happy with how this outfit turned out, and I definitely think it's perfect for fall. Comment below and let me know what you think of the outfit and if you're gonna give it a try yourself. Now before we end today's video, the shoutouts for today go to Leah Sutter 18 Forever Yours, and KK Vlog. Thank you so, so much for supporting the channel. And remember, if you get a chance to get a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and comment down below with the hashtag DDSquad, and you'll have a chance of getting a shout out in the next video. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and let me know if you want to see more doll clothing tutorials in the future. Don't forget to subscribe because it really does help out the channel, and I appreciate it so, so much. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye! Get you out of my mind It's like I feel it for the first time Been thinking about you all night I've been searching for this all my life Baby.